Hey, if you're shopping for an RV, if you're curious about the Class B RV, if you're wondering why people don't make more innovative features in an RV, can you believe they actually make RVs that have no wood in them? If any of that is interest, stay tuned. We got a special treat for you today. So, howdy. My name is Scott. I'm your host. Appreciate you tuning in to Go Small, Live Large. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to the RV lifestyle, in my case, a Class B 21 foot camper van from Winnebago, is what I'm using. Um, if you like to go to places, if you like to meet interesting people, if you want to know about the RV lifestyle, that's what this is all about. Thanks for tuning in. If you're shopping for an RV, you want to stick around. We do a lot of content on how to and why this rig is so awesome. Today, we're shifting up a little bit. We're going to introduce you to maybe very seen them my paid partner embassy rv they are located in elkhart indiana and they make class b rvs just like this on three different uh, chassis sprinter mercedes ford transit ram promaster which is what i got right here today because of the covid 19 situation we are in uh, the embassy rv team is not giving any tours currently for obvious reasons so what they were good enough to do is record a factory tour for you and as you watch this video Write down your questions. Why is that important? Because on Saturday, April 25th, we're actually doing a conference call live with the Embassy Air team up in Elkhart uh, for the Go Small Live Large audience. It's exclusive, it, there is no fee. Uh, up to the first 50 people on the conference call, it's a two-way call. Um, unlike YouTube Live, which is you kind of type in your chat stuff and hope something you get, might get mentioned. Nope, we're gonna actually answer all your questions. It could take about an hour two-way call turn your camera on definitely dial in go to my website go small live large.com you'll get all the details there would love to have you part of that so thank you for tuning in again and let's get right into it welcome to embassy I'll show you around this is where we would uh come and talk about your dreams and and see the controlled custom part of things and try to understand what your traveling needs are and then we'd go out and visit the shop. And One of the things we always try to do is show you the quality that we invest in in our RVs. Um, this is an inlet that everybody else uses. Um, it's plastic. It's really kind of cheap and lightweight and it operates totally different from what we use. We are one of the only companies in this town that used a smart plug in that, that was created by a yacht manufacturer. This is real stainless steel, and the way it goes together with the doghouse shape, it'll never wear down, it'll never get hot, it'll never melt the cord. It goes together, snaps in, this goes down, and it's solid as it can be, but it's a real, real good part. Because we use a no wood uh, designed interior, we teamed up with 3M and they did a lot of testing for us and showed us how to use their products better with the materials that we're using. This is one of the materials that we use that replaces all the wood that all of our marine vinyls and things are wrapped around. It's actually a aluminum skin on both sides with a plastic core. So it acts like wood, cuts like wood, staples like wood, but there's no wood. When you unsnap the part, this is the Velcro. You can see normally somebody would use what's called a panel fastener or a Christmas tree fastener where you have to drill a hole in the other part and pop it in. Those only like to come apart once and they don't do it again. You can snap this together a hundred times and you hear it snap. This is how we do our door panels. Anything the dealer has to service in the vehicle, it's snapped together with this product and it can do it as many times as you want. You never have to worry about it. Okay, let's go take a tour of the shop. This is the Demo Sportsman that we've shown and talked about. Um, it's a very unique vehicle. It's a new design of ours. Um, we've got the TV that swings around. You can see we have an awning and vents and things on this as we show you this vehicle. Uh, it's, a, it's a fun vehicle that will do a lot of things. You can tailgate with it, you can camp with it, you can travel with it. It's just an all-around vehicle that's built just like our Traveler model. One of the th questions we get asked a lot is, do you offer an awning? So you can see behind me, we have a carefree awning that is automatic. If the wind blows, it will retract itself. 
and you'll see a little chrome scuffer, we call it, uh, right at the end of the awning on the side of the vehicle. That's our side wall mounted vents that we created. There are no holes in the roof of this vehicle. Uh, all the roof vents are on the side of the vehicle. There's four of them. There's two that blow in, two that blow out, and you don't have to worry about weather or anything, and you can vent the vehicle if you have a pet inside and come back to a very comfortable vehicle. Now we're gonna to move to the next stage of the line where we work underneath the vehicles. So this is a monster screw drive lift system. It can't drop a vehicle to the ground. Uh, when you hit the button, you can go up a quarter inch if you want, it has a lot of control. So let's show you how that works. And we can stop at any point and just set it at that so it's an easy height for them to work under. So another question we get all the time is, where's your spare tire? Our spare tire is right where the factory put it. We don't have water tanks underneath. We don't have generators underneath. We don't have to put our batteries underneath because they give off deadly fumes. Ours are inside. Our spare tire is right where the factory put it, and it's that way on all of them. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts. When everyone folds your forge to holes You're placing your bed, showing no regret Close your eyes to hide your lies, roll the dice You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence, letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your bed when I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules Talking way too loud And you're talking rude You're playing a game so Now we're at the front of the line This is our 2020 Embassy Traveler TRL. Uh, we did add the Traveler name. Uh, we're trying to name every vehicle now. So we have the Sportsman, we have the Traveler. We're going to have a dual Traveler here very soon, a new model we're going to introduce that we've got a lot of call for from customers. So uh, let's take a look at the, the 2020 Travel. So this stage of the vehicle, you get to see the core of what we do. And we believe the core is as important as what you see visually when we're done with the vehicle. So you can see behind me, every inch of this vehicle has eight layers of our insulation in it. Um, we are standing on an inch and a half composite subfloor, which is incredible for the insulating value. There's not a single screw through the floor into the metal of the vehicle. Um, Everything in here is designed to not have odors and wick mildew mold or anything like that. And 10 years from now, this vehicle is still going to smell new. There's nothing going to have a musty smell to it because of what we put behind the walls. And also, you'll notice the flooring curls up over the wall a little bit. And then when we trim out the wall with the dive on and the marine plastics, no water will get behind the walls. The water has to go out one of the doors if you spill something. We also have carpet around the window here where the blinds go. So if the blinds rub into the metal of the vehicle uh, between our wall and the window, it's quiet. It's not going to hurt anything. So everything's designed to be comfortable and zero rattles and very little impact to the vehicle itself. So if you go into anyone else's RV on a B model or any other RV, you're going to see wood inside the cabinets. I changed that. This is aluminum tubing that's welded together and texture powder coated to look like our marine plastic. And it's super lightweight, as you can tell, it's virtually three pounds or so for this cabinet frame. When you look inside our vehicle, you see beautiful aluminum and finished products that are actually structural. So another feature of our cabinet design is, this is where it touches the floor. This is where I made it clear the wheel wells. So I can position my cabinets anywhere in the vehicle and I don't have to worry is a wheel well in the way. The other thing it does is it gives us a clear span for long items on the floor level, which nobody has in cabinet space with this design. So we capture the wall, the floor, and on the tall ones, we capture the ceiling and grab it from three points, which is super solid, but we have a nice span underneath for long items. Uh, that is an incredible new storage for a vehicle of this type. 
this is how good wiring is done. Ford supports the wires about every eight to 10 inches. We do the same thing in our wiring. You'll notice up above, we have some uh, 3M adhesive uh, wire supports and our wires will be ran exactly like Ford. It gives you the ability when we do this to access all the wires years down the road and add a new wire, get to a wire if you need to by doing things and supporting them and keeping them safe. Uh, and we have no wires behind the walls. Uh, these wires are all accessible. The Ford Transit is a little bit different from the ProMaster in that the ceiling in the front is very sloped for aerodynamics. When doing that, it actually affected our zero gravity TV installation. But as you can see, we've made modifications to that. So our bracket runs with that slope, but the TV still pitched properly. So you can see it sitting at the sofas and then you just flip it up and latch it to the ceiling and you're able to walk underneath of it and we didn't have to drop it down and make it a head knocker. Uh, it actually gives a lot more clearance than you can get on a ProMaster. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, every time I watch Terry do his uh, his factory tours, his chassis tours, explaining why their product is so different than the other guys, um, I just continue to be amazed. Um, just the real deal, him and the team. And uh, be sure and put this date, April 25, 2020, 12 p.m. Central, on your calendar and join us for a live Q&A with Terry and the Embassy RV team. Our COVID situation is going to pass here, we hope, very quickly, and people are going to be scrambling to get out of the house and back on the road or make their dreams come true more quickly than they might have otherwise. We got a lot of things planned with Embassy RV, including having me stay in one for a period of time and some campouts and some uh, meetups and we got all kinds of cool things so thank you for watching hope you got something out of that if you did give it a thumb up if not give it a thumb down that's okay i'm a big boy comment send me an email gosh tune in on april 25 2020 that would really make my day so until we see you again i wish you to live happy live free live rv